This is my review on the 1925 Phantom of the Opera. Um, I'm going to try to keep them because of... Actually, it sounds like they're watching TV. Oh, anyway. The movie opens up with showing a little pieces of the Phantom. We see him in the we see him in the cis, uh, assigned seat watching the opera by these two dumb dumbs who don't believe the such thing as the Phantom until they see him from behind and. These old ones try to warn them about the phantom that he's kind of creepy. And nuts. Uh, and uh, uh, we hear people in the opera talk about the phantom. And this guy shows them where the phantom, where he saw the phantom. And, um, my kids are shooting without looking bad. And so Christine doesn't go on because her friends are playing against her. Who they tell the this girl tells the owner of the thing and says what happens happens. I don't care about her. Um, going to that her this girl's daughter gets killed by the phantom. I, Cutting the chandelier down and having it fall on her, and Kevin and uh, says that he's a angel and come to me, your master, Christine. Come follow me, and Christine's Harper to see what her master looks like. He says, "This is me, your master," and she eventually. He says he has confession me and tells him her his feelings about for that he has for her. And she's a little creeped out, uh, very creeped out. Uh, and then she figures out but puts two and two together that he is the phantom of the opera. And he gives these vague he doesn't deny it or Confirm it, but and gives a very, very so in these answers he anyway, doesn't deny or confirm it, and she eventually fades, and she he has a phantom flame, and. Says he plays this for love. If you see my face, something I try. I tried to read what I could on the TV. So we see what the face of Phantom looks like, and it is all the stuff from nightmares. And she's Christine's easily horrified by this, and she says, "If you let me, you, you, you'll let, if, as you say, you'll let me go." And she says, "I promise I won't see him ever again," which is Ralph. If you let me go, 
So he lets her go and she lied to him and he feels like uh, she betrayed him and I mean, he feels like that he she betrayed him on uh, not she so um yeah so um they plot a plot to against the phantom infringement once of all yeah uh, Christine gets kidnapped by the phantom the phantom brings Christine and Ralph and so the guy goes to their rescue and he says put the hand up keep your hand up like this it's a matter of life or death so the key to the hands up all the way the entire time I was there going to the phantom's lair where he is Liz and we see at some point in the movie the phantom hang and kill a member of the opera house and the people of the opera want revenge so they become an angry mob and to Go against the go against the phantom and hunt him down and finish him. And so anyway, uh, the. Christine dying has a chance to save Ralph and this other guy. So she uh, picks the wrong. She has to pick the scorpion or the cricket. She picks the scorpion and dooms Ralph and the other guy. And she says she will agree to marry him, but only if you save them. So he does. The Phantom. Um. So he goes in and gets hunted down by the angry mob. The phantom can't ask to sing dying and she throws herself out of the carriage. Ralph and Christine live happily ever after and the angry mom go, uh, go to kill the phantom. They do and they throw him in the river and that's the end of the film. So there's a problem with this film and I there's a couple problems with them. The I scenes that look like they got heavily edited for the final cut of the film. And another problem was with this film, it didn't know if they wanted to make it makes it unclear if they want to make the Phantom a sympathetic character or an actual monster. Other than that, it's pretty fun to watch. The characters are likable, and especially the Phantom, including the Phantom. Phantom is also likable. Uh, yeah, I, and the acting is nice. Acting is really good, actually, and holds up better. Well, the acting in this holds up better than the acting in the movie The Brush of Nation. 
So I give this a thumbs up.